This sign isn't typical for Dogay's crawfish farm in mid-February. You know, the catch has just been so slow, it's everything I can do. It's 12-hour days just to keep Floyd's with 100, 150 pounds of crawfish every day. You know, so, I mean, it's just really been a back-breaking January and February. Owner Keith Ferguson says it's unreal. I know last season, last January, um, this farm produced probably about uh, three times what it did this January. It's colder weather, move less, can't eat, can't grow. During a typical February season, these purge tanks are filled with about a thousand pounds of crawfish. But check this out. They're empty and they're only expecting about 300 pounds today. It'd probably be uh, double, triple this. You know, and, and the, the size would be a little better because, you know, they'd have the warmth to grow. We wouldn't have all these smaller crawfish. And the lack of warm water temperature is what's left Southeast Texans without their usual crawfish supply. It's got to reach a, a, a minimum of 41 degrees before they can digest food and grow at all. So, you know, with the colder water temperatures, crawfish can't grow, they can't eat, they can't digest food, so they just stay in the ground. Until the sunny skies and warm temperatures stay for good, Ferguson says it's a waiting game. Just be patient. They're here, they're coming. It's just going to take a little bit longer this season because of the colder weather. Colder weather, you know, just shift it back about a month or two. A wait that's left Southeast Texans feeling antsy for their crawfish fix. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, Fox 4 News.